Hey, beautiful spirits out there. Spirit coming to you from a beautiful place in my universe. I'm connecting with Mother Earth right now. Um, we live in a climate where it's cold and snowy a lot of the time. And the snow's melted and spring has sprung. The birds are back. I've seen so many different species. So many different animals are coming back out. And that feels so good, seeing all the plants come back, and all the flowers, and seeing Mother Nature um, in full abundance coming soon. So, feeling great, um, connecting to Mother Earth, connecting to myself, connecting to my universe, and um, grounding. So, I hope you're getting off your amazing light today. I also hope you're receiving amazing energy with who you surround yourself with. It's very important. You want to be with people who bring you up, not bring you down. That's key. So, folks, today I'm going to talk about uh, food again because I bring it up a lot. And food, I'm realizing in life, is very, um, it's all about the ego, um, external. Anything external is the ego. And so when we have dinner parties, when we have, um, <clears throat> when we're having people over to show off what we made them and that and this and that, we're actually trying to be accepted. We're actually trying to win up on them or um, deep down inside we're, we're fearful of starvation. We're fearful of the um, extinction of the species. So we're much connected to food. Um, I've really been seeing on my journey that everybody talks about food. And it's um, when you start to awaken and you start to eat really healthy and um, all that stuff, you notice that a lot of people are still eating animals and nobody is connecting the fact that animals animal protein is causing cancer animal protein is um, not supposed to be something we're eating on a regular basis at all actually at all our intestines are 30 feet long and they're coiled and what happens is the meat gets stuck and it ferments and it, it actually decomposes and um, gives off a gas and we get really really bloated from that also the animal protein causes cancer it actually grows tumors animal protein so the health health organization um, is coming out saying that animal meat is animal protein is causing cancer um, so it's just like back when when we learned that cigarettes were causing cancer it's like back when when everyone thought cigarettes were healthy and that's what it feels like. It feels like um, people aren't learning. They're not growing. And they're not um, looking at information that's extremely valuable and um, they should be looking at. So when you look down at your plate, does it start with peace? Does it, um, do you, um, can you say that it's peaceful? Can you say that you are peaceful? Um, and so that's a really good place to start and it's a really good question. I haven't been eating meat in almost a year and um, <clears throat> my job where I work I have to cook meat because this lady likes to eat it and um, I'm not interested to eat it at all, the smells, everything like that. So a lot of people are so scared because they don't want to change. I'm here to tell you that if I can change, you can change. I stopped eating my favorite food, lobster. I stopped. I said that animal is not more important, not less important than my taste buds. And I realized that that animal deserves to be in the ocean. And that animal is part of something that I can't be taking it away from. And um, when you are connected to know that we are all one, including animals, everything is one, the trees, the rocks, everything is consciousness, you realize that we have to change our diet. We have to grow in that area. And I'm seeing along my journey that it's like a group think. So um, people who eat meat um, talk to other people who eat meat, especially in the family, and they connect that way. They connect um, with what they eat. So along my journey I'm realizing that um, 
we're much more than what we eat. We um, connect so much with that, but we're actually um, here to discover that um, way down the line. I mean, some people are already discovering it, but we don't even need food. It's actually a belief. Everything is a belief. Um, if you think you need something, if you believe in it, then um, it's going to be part of your creation. And there's actually people out there that aren't even eating food. They have um, realized, they have learned, they have been taught that there's protein in the air. And there's actually um, ways to um, survive from just breathing the air. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's having a really small impact on um, Mother Earth. So, um, But we eat a crap ton of food. We eat veggies. We eat... Um, fruit so we're really focused on the live foods the light live foods um, the Sun actually gives the food um, nutrition and so it's really important to get fresh food fresh 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 food um, and organic food um, food that's not grown and doesn't say organic to not get it you guys my friend worked in a government um, with a government project and learn that all the food that doesn't say organic is grown in human shit and the human shit has so many pharmaceuticals in it so many pills are leaking in our shit that we're actually our food is actually cons di eating that human shit and also the pharmaceutical pills and all that crap so whatever you do folks the, the non-organic food is really really um it's really grown in a lot of gross, um, really bad chemicals. So um, always watch out when you're what you're eating, and um, ask yourself today: Is this um, organic? Is this um, peaceful? And um, you're gonna grow a lot. It feels so good. It feels so amazing. And that's what they don't want. The people in the control, the people behind the scenes, they don't want us feeling good. They don't. They want us sick. And um, folks, you gotta take your power back today. And it can only start with you. Um, you have to decide that you want to become a healthier person and um, research and discern for yourself. I can't make anybody change. I can't make anybody do anything that they don't want to do, and that's fine. I'm here to express. I'm here to share information and help those that are um, along their journey of awakening. So again, folks, animal protein is causing cancer. It actually is really, really bad for us. Um, as soon as you stop eating animals and eat live foods, gonna drop so many so many pounds and you're gonna feel so amazing you're gonna feel light and you're gonna start really connecting with your true power um, so we really are food is medicine it's so true and um, if you want to heal your body start eating live foods today I love you guys so much give off your great light but receive it they're just as important love you guys Peace.